Do you even know what's been happening in the crypto market? Well, for an average investor, checking stats, updates, and predictions is the main priority. Has the price of coins gone up today? What is the crypto analyst saying about this coin today? Are the profound questions that are asked by certain investors. But the fact is that you've been lied to. Whenever we talk about Cardano's predictions being wrong, our minds are quick to travel to what the Cardano founder, Charles Hoskinson, said in 2020. From its inception, critics believe that the network has failed to deliver on its promises, and one Twitter user referenced founder Charles Hoskinson's post from 2020 on what the network could achieve in a year, which was 2021. Charles Hoskinson tweeted in July of 2020, The next year, I predict there will be hundreds of assets running on Cardano, thousands of dApps, tons of interesting projects, and lots of unique use and utility. 2021 is going to be so much fun watching Cardano grow and evolve. The community is ready to innovate. Back then, the ADA skeptics included Chris Bernsky, the co-founder of Placeholder, who retweeted the tweet and asked, did any of this happen? Hoskinson did not respond to his question, but when a user with a Twitter handle, AltcoinBest, tweeted, no assets on ADA, forget thousands of dApps, not a single dApp on ADA, only one or two projects announced working on ADA, the Cardano founder responded. There are thousands of assets on Cardano. I guess you haven't been paying attention. Tons of devs learning, training, and writing. Lots of launch apps. We guess this is why attention should be paid to our claims. But jokes apart, Charles Hoskinson has said a couple of things about Cardano ADA that do not resonate with reality. And this is why he keeps getting attacked by critics. Now, while Charles Hoskinson was correct in claiming that thousands of assets and tokens were active on the platform as the functionality was incorporated into the network with the Merry Hard Fork, only a few of those thousands of tokens were considered active or functioning. Hoskinson has a wild imagination. He once said that also the dominant cryptocurrency Bitcoin is inferior in front of Cardano, as Bitcoin uses a lot of energy, lacks a lot of other features, and is the least programmable of all the cryptocurrencies. Then, he prided in the fact that Cardano had established its position by taking massive projects like introducing its framework in Ethiopia, starting with the blockchain-based education system IOHK, with the Ethiopian government in coming years changing different areas from farming to medical care. However, last year, Charles Hoskinson finally found the boldness to talk about the badly aged tweet, and this was during the time Cardano was making some impressive gains. He cheekily admitted that in July of 2020, Forecasts of the number of decentralized applications, dApps, coming to the blockchain have not yet come to fruition. Referring to the famed July 2020 tweet, Hoskinson tweeted, Remember when I predicted thousands of assets and dApps on Cardano? Well, I was wrong. There are now millions of native assets issued and dApps are now in the hundreds. Hashtag slow and steady. While the number of assets appear to have exceeded his predictions by 2022, thanks to a new non-fungible token minting protocol, the number of decentralized apps running on the network isn't so impressive. Nonetheless, you know how Charles Hoskinson is. He is a cryptocurrency entrepreneur who is not afraid to address critics and give them a dose of their medicine. Around the time he acknowledged his July 2020 tweet, he slammed a critic who mocked him for not keeping to his words and not living up to the expectation of Cardano users. The critic, who goes by the pseudonym Mr. Charles, also made a big deal of the tweet by sharing a screenshot of it. Blah, 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 more under promises. Under deliver, brother. The critic captioned Hoskinson's prediction for 2021. After the post got 9 retweets and 20 likes, I know, crazy numbers, right? Hoskinson gave a resounding reply to silence the critic. Responding to the tweet, Hoskinson noted that the great irony of the babbling idiots happily retweeting the post is that his prediction for Cardano came to pass. He replied, the great irony of the babbling idiots happily retweeting this statement is that Cardano has 6 million native assets issued, 3.6 million wallets, over 100 launch projects, and more than 1,000 building. So yeah, it came true. Please tell the world that you're stupid. And that was all, you know, funny, right? If 99% of Cardano's predictions are wrong, would Cardano have survived this far? Of course not. When we talk about Cardano, we're referring to an ecosystem that has been stretched and brought under the pressure right from its inception. This is evident from the chunk of criticisms about the network, but it is still alive and among the top 10 cryptocurrencies. Also, speaking at the Global Boardroom event by the Financial Times, Charles Hoskinson explained to Jimmy O'Kelly, columnist at the Financial Times, that despite the bear market situation, crypto is here to stay. He noted that the current downward trend is affecting the crypto world as well as traditional firms with the stock prices of Netflix, Microsoft, and other big Web2 firms shedding value. If veterans such as Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg have lost money in their industries and are still there, 
then we're going nowhere, Charles added. He further highlighted that he knows that Cardano Project will outlive him. If I go to the desert, Cardano will be here, he said. Just as Apple did with Steve Jobs, Bitcoin with Satoshi, Disney with Walt Disney, and Ethereum with Vitalik, Cardano has gone beyond the founder. To make the crypto industry better with more user-focused projects, Hoskinson said that Cardano has set up labs in schools around the world to help develop evidence-based blockchain solutions. He added that instead of focusing on the challenges of the market, the Cardano ecosystem is focused on the users building dApps and utility as those are the most important elements. The case with Cardano has shown that a decentralized world where anyone can access global finance is possible. Charles Hoskinson reiterated this in an interview by saying that one of the goals of the decentralized systems is to give access to people around the world to the richest resources at any time. Crypto is the religion of the world. It's going nowhere, he said. Not every crypto analyst has spoken tongue-in-cheek about Cardano ADA. Some have been straight to the point, but left trepidation running in the spines of many Cardano investors. Even a certain crypto expert called Cardano the definition of ugly. At the time, the cryptocurrency experienced a massive rally after a long period of sideways movement and consolidation. This was legendary trader Peter Brandt. Last year, Peter Brandt suggested that ADA could start descending into its 2020 levels. He claimed that ADA's price is following a head and shoulders pattern, which spells future depreciation for this cryptocurrency. Calling ADA's price chart the very definition of ugly, he set 40 cents as the potential price target to the downside, and he was right, anyways. Brandt is quite an outspoken Bitcoin maximalist, and he also declared that Bitcoin is the only bet in the crypto space that would finish the marathon, categorizing all others, including Ethereum, as wannabes or scams. Brandt's comment did not sit well with the Cardano community, known for its utmost dedication and active involvement. Supporters took to social media platforms to defend the credibility and value of the ADA network, noting the robustness of the Cardano ecosystem and arguing that the network was built and maintained by a community of thousands of committed individuals running Cardano's pools and nodes. Why do people hate ADA? This interesting question was asked on Reddit and incredible answers poured in. Cardano has prioritized decentralization, but has taken a slow build-up approach and timelines have slipped. It is also leaning towards compliance ready with their DIDs, etc. In addition, Cardano is currently under the control of IOHK, etc. So many do not like the hybrid approach of trying to be what crypto is about, but it is pro-establishment at the same time. CH is also somebody who talks straight and not everyone likes him, a user answered. Another said, there's an army of hardcore ETH bros, starting with Novogratz, that got seriously rich off of ETH. And because of the old bad blood, they crap on CH and Cardano. Cardano is by far the best project I have ever participated in, and I've been in this space since 2015. A prominent Twitter account focused on ADA in the Cardano community also shared what three types of haters are still criticizing Cardano, while the majority of critics have warmed up to the most popular proof-of-stake blockchain. Three groups still actively hate Cardano, according to this Twitter user, at Cardano Whale. Thanks to the Cardano NFT community, the majority of Cardano haters have now calmed down and warmed up to Hoskinson's built blockchain. However, these three groups who still pour heavy criticism on Cardano include angry traders with 300,000 subscribers and too big of egos. This group is unhappy with ADA's price failing to grow at the speed of light. People hate Cardano because they believe that it is thriving on a clog of lies. However, patience is needed, so let's wait and see whether Cardano is indeed that pack of lies. But that's going to do it for today's video. Make sure you click the subscribe notification buttons, and we'll see you in the next video.